Hey guys, Tomboy61, and today we have a bit of a lower tier ship review for you guys. The Oleg, it was a free giveaway ship. Anyone could get it if you had the code in time. So uh, I figured I'd go ahead and give it a review because, well, it's new in my port and it might and probably is new in a lot of your ports. Now, as far as how you could have gotten the Oleg on Friday, they had a ships of the line slash dev stream. And they gave, basically, they put out the code for the Oleg and its flag. They put a fairly short time redemption kind of uh, limit on the code to 3 o'clock UTC time, which I'll be honest, I have no idea what that translates to. I just know that I put in my code instantly and I got myself this beautiful Oleg. And if you're like, Tommy, why didn't you tell us about this? I did. It's just that only 12% of the people who are subscribed to this channel have notifications turned on. So this is my little thing of saying 60% of you aren't subscribed. And of the 60% of the 40% that are subscribed, only 12% of you have notifications turned on. So uh, if, if you want to not miss out on ships like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, maybe consider hitting that little bell icon. Though we do, uh, the flag code was not time sensitive. We can see the flag flying proudly on the ship right now. I'll go ahead and put up that flag code. Uh, it is 2021 forever Oleg. It should still work to get you that pretty cool flag. I really enjoy it just cause it's a black and gold and it looks, it looks really good. Now, anyway, let's go ahead and talk Oleg. So as far as upgrades go in the mod slot, well, it does only have one. I'm running steering gear on it because well, that seems to be the best one. It's that or propulsion. I'd rather make sure I can steer rather than go forward and back. Uh, consumables, well, it only has repair party. Nothing really special to write home about here. Five second duration and 58.8 second reload time uh, once you've used it. Finally, commander I'm running, well, uh, Kuznetsnov, he's my most upgraded uh, Russian cruiser commander. Uh, so and I run him with Vine and Mimbelli. Base trait is going to be Follow the Sun, uh, which which increases the main battery range of the cruiser. Then, as far as skills go, we have Burnt Down, XXL, Intuitive, Punch Through, Steer Clear, and Fully Packed. And uh, now, let's go ahead and get on in to those stats. Hit points, it's going to have 24,100 hit points with an armor th thickness between 6 and 140 millimeters let's go ahead and take a look at that armor as you can see it is uh nothing too special to write home about uh the one interesting thing i do have to say is it's citadel because it does have this little interesting hump back in the back which is uh you know unique i guess to this ship but yeah that it's a tier two cruiser guys these stats aren't going to be that incredible the bow armor on it it's going to be about six millimeters and the deck armor is going to be 11 millimeters. There is no torpedo reduction for the ship. Main battery is eight single-barreled, uh, like, hull-mounted guns and two two-barrels uh, turrets at 152 millimeters. Firing range on the ship is going to be 11.8 kilometers with a reload time of 8.6 seconds. It's going to be firing about 70 shells per minute with a 180 time on those two turrets of 36 seconds. AG damage 2100, giving you a DPM of 147,000, assuming you can get all of the guns on target, which of course, half of them are locked to the opposite side of the ship. So you won't be getting that high of a DPM. Chance of fire though, with Kuznetsnov, we are getting a 10% chance of fire per shell, which is fairly high for the tier. AP damage 28,035, with a DPM of 198,450. Secondaries, she is bristling with them. 12 one-barreled 75 millimeter guns with a range of 2.5 kilometers and a reload time of four seconds. Secondary damage, 1,500 in a 6% chance to set fire. Ship does not have any torpedoes, nor does it have any AA. So carrier players out there, if you happen to run across this uh, in a tier two, three match, uh, feel free to just destroy the Oleg because you will be able to, because it will not be able to fight back. Uh, it, it, it was slightly annoying trying to get some of these games because as soon as the carrier locks onto you, you're like, well, I'm done. Can't really do anything because he can just torpedo me without any uh, recourse. Anyways, 
Max speed of the vessel, 24 knots, with a turning radius of 450 meters, and a rudder shift time of 7.1 seconds. Detectability by sea, 9.5. Detectability by air, 6. And while in smoke, 2. And those are all of the glorious stats of the Oleg. As far as the history of the vessel, she is a real ship. She was originally, originally part of the Russian Baltic fleet, laid down in 1902. And uh, by the time she was uh, put into action, the Russo-Japanese War had already begun. She did make the journey from Russia all the way the long way around Africa and uh, all the way up through to Japan. So she made that quite long voyage um, to attempt to bl break the blockade of the Japanese, of the Russian port there. Sadly, she uh, kind of got routed. She got damaged and she was interred in uh, Manila. And that's where she spent the remainder of the war. Um, then she did see some action in both World War One and in the Russian Revolution where she did support the Bolshevik cause. And yeah, that's the Oleg. She is a bit of a meme, I think, over on the Discord. I'm not 100% why, but I believe the reason is just Oleg. She is a great looking vessel. I do have to say that. I think... It, it, it's like getting one of the Black Fleet without getting the B on the end of it. It Yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a game in it. It won't be too exciting, but it will still be fun. So here we are on the map polar, one that the low tiers know well, and those who have spent a long time in the game only know when they play their first rounds of the match to get their uh, promotion orders because uh, beyond that, you never really end up seeing it uh pretty much ever again once you get up into the higher tiers but it is quite a fun map offering a ton of cover and the ability to get close which is what oleg needs to do because while it has a ton of guns the shells get very very floaty and uh they, they that just doesn't end well uh, a lot of time when you're at range as far as team makeup goes well there's a lot of destroyers abound so uh that is always good for us we're shooting our way towards a and then maybe heading into B, all of the cap circles pretty much touch each other in this. So if we can go ahead and pretty much get control of one side, we can then kind of move our way to the other. That's the plan for now, using that one major island as our primary cover, especially because there is battleships in this match and uh, there are aircraft carriers. So we do kind of want to stick by other people who may have some some form of AA since, uh, as previously stated, Oleg, no AA. Wakeful pops up. We're going to start using our HE. And this is one of the strengths of Oleg. Once you get into that medium range, you're fairly accurate and you can just start chunking down destroyers. You have a fairly quick uh, RPM. And uh, if you can hit your targets, you will uh, do some pretty good damage to them. Also, you are surprisingly maneuverable. You have a very short turning radius. So you are fairly... You're, it's easy to it's fairly easy to dodge torpedoes and and alike even though you have what seems to be a long rudder shift time once you get all the way turned you have such a short turning radius that uh you are able to maneuver quite aggressively we see now that uh tenaru over here has decided to come out full broadside and uh, we'll fire what's in our guns but then immediately switch over to ap because uh he is a fellow cruiser even though he was built more like a destroyer but because he's a cruiser, he's going to have that citadel that is absolutely exposed. So we can see we'll just go ahead and chunk him down as we can get guns on target. That is our first kill of the match. And uh, up to only 14,000 damage. There's not going to be high damage in this game. Because once again, we're at tier 2. But we are now in B. And uh, we can see uh, that there is a destroyer just on the other side of this island. He's taking refuge over there there's also a torpedo bomber just off our rear so we do need to keep that in mind especially because once again we do not have aa it is we we just kind of have to deal with it um but we do see brusque uh out there and uh he's spotted and we know he doesn't have smoke because he is a french destroyer so we're gonna go ahead and just easily gun him down here once again the he on the oleg pr pretty impressive uh, you can get a lot of rounds on target and they will hit and do some fairly significant damage when you can land them. Uh, it is just a matter of uh, getting those guns on target because the rotational speed on the, the gun sometimes does leave a little 
to be desired. Barosk runs the ground, so we'll go ahead and send out another salvo his way. Not quite finishing him off, uh, leaving him with just enough for someone else to probably take it from us, I think. Or do we end up actually finishing it? I can't remember. Uh, we do end up finishing it. And our, the friendly wakeful from before has decided to pop out. And at this point, I'm nervous about torpedoes, but we do get him. And that finishes a double strike. And we have a full CA uh, right there as well, deciding to pop his nose in. Now, if we could get all of our guns turned uh, in a way to get our, our us on target for him, we could maybe rack up a third kill in rapid succession. Sadly, he is able to uh, pump the metaphorical brakes and uh, get behind us. But we now have secured B, and uh, we've we've taken out three of their ships, which is pretty which is pretty nice. Once again, tier two, nothing too impressive here, and that is the end of the match, guys. Uh, that's the Oleg. Like I said, she was free. She's fun. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.